Before I start this video, I just want to say that I've got a goal for the channel and that's to reach 10,000 subscribers basically as soon as I can, as fast as I can. So if you're enjoying the content and you've not subscribed yet, can you hit the button, press the button, smash the button, help me achieve this goal. It's really appreciated, really means a lot to me. So thanks and enjoy the video. The mushroom motherboard in the third kingdom. So this one's really quite it's really quite cool, I think. Really quite interesting. Some I've kinda always seen it like thought about, some I've just found out about and eh uh, so like you basically have like three kingdoms like your life on earth. So you've got like the animal kingdom, the plant kingdom and then the third kingdom is the mushroom, like the fungus kingdom. Uh, I think they've recently just reclassified fungi as like its own separate kingdom. So its own separate like life force. And uh, like mushrooms and fungi and all that. So it's really quite, I don't know, it's quite it's really quite interesting also. You've got all the kind of psychedelic side to them. Uh, and you've got all the like, like humans have used them or ate them or cooked them and drank them like made like mushroom tea and all this kind of stuff and psychedelics and like fruit history and even like you go back to like ancient shamans and all this kind of stuff and they would say it would connect them to a different realm and all this uh, so like with this one like the mushroom motherboard was one that I found out quite recently and it's it's really quite cool like I don't know like you wouldn't even imagine you could do this kind of thing like so like you can actually build a computer with like fungus so like if you imagine like an electric circuit board like it's got all the kind of connections and stuff like that and the wire well it's not really wires but it's like a, like metal connections where the, the electricity runs through for like the computer chips and stuff like you can actually use fungus and grow it and then like the the signals and the electric signals would flow through the fungus so you can basically you can make like a computer or a computer chip out of fungus which is really quite it's, it's, it's quite like like you wouldn't even believe that's possible kind of thing but it is and I suppose it's, it's a bit like us if you think like our brains send like electric signals through like our like our nerves like our nervous system and stuff so like we're all connected like through like that like with electricity and if you think it's just the same for mushrooms and uh, it's a bit uh, our fungus and it's a bit like even like what we do with computers and AI and that's how I think this is quite interesting because you could tie it all together as like like it's the same like the way we are and the way fungus and mushrooms are and the way we're building computers it's all pretty similar it's all like electric signals through like basically circuits or like a nervous system and it's all like producing like data and like for us it produces movement and like feel like th uh, touch and f like again like your senses and stuff and so like it's, it's it makes you think like because it's it's kind of even related to like why the other videos are done like the the trees can talk because the trees are all like connected and trees and plants through like the root system mushrooms and all that are connected through like their kind of like i don't know if you would call it roots i suppose it is like their root system and then that's how I'm thinking, like, we're all connected through, like, our system, like, like the earth and stuff. So I, I think, like, we're all connected in some way. And then we're doing it with AI. 
So like AI's connected to us and we're connected to the earth and the mushrooms and the trees and plants are all connected. So it's, it's like it is like a like we're all connected to everything. And that's how I think like we we like mushrooms and fungi and psychedelics. I had this theory <clears throat> I've had it with a few different things, but it's basically like when you're taking mushrooms and you're going on like a trip or something, getting like a psychedelic trip, eh, not just like a trip to the shop or something like that, but a psychedelic trip. And eh, I, I always thought like, I wonder if that's like, eh, like you're tapping into their kind of, like their memory bank, their, the, obviously like in this case, like their nervous system. So like all the kind of stuff that you're seeing is all the stuff that they've seen, maybe. Like, cause like they've, they live for like thousands and thousands of years. So you could be seeing stuff that happened in the past through their system. Like when you like basically plug yourself into their system. And it's similar to, to like what people are talking about with us in AI. Because they're, th they're talking about in the future that we can, we'll be able to download or plug ourselves into like the the cloud or the AI nervous system basically. And then we'll be able to do stuff through that. Maybe like the, the psychedelic thing. It's just like pretty much the same thing. But it's just a natural way of, of doing it kind of thing. Rather than us creating something and plugging ourselves into that. This is already created. It's a life form. And we're just kind of merging with it, like when we like take psychedelics or stuff like that. So uh, for me, it is really, it's quite, <clears throat> it's really quite interesting. And I love thinking about stuff like this. Like you hear all different theories about psychedelics and mushrooms and stuff. And when I seen the thing about the, like the mushroom computers, it all just kind of tied it all in. Like for me, like with the AI and the trees can talk <clears throat> and the mushroom motherboard and even like the human nervous system and uh, I, d I don't know what anybody else thinks about it maybe maybe just think I've took too many mushrooms or something like that eh? but uh, I've not done them for a long time <clears throat> tried them like when I was a teenager and stuff but uh, I don't I, you know what it's like when you're young you just kind of throw everything in and you don't know how strong it is and you it was we made like tea and then we we're just drinking the tea and then everybody it was quite a mad like experience put it that way quite quite fun but quite mad but i think in a more controlled environment yeah, it would be better and i think like even doctors and stuff are coming round it like with stuff like psychedelics can help people with PTSD or depression or anxiety, they say it's almost like a reboot, like it reboots your, your brain or your nervous system and it, it kind of cuts you off for the, like the, the, the bad cycle that you're in, like with depression or PTSD or whatever. And to, to me, like the more and more you even just talking about that, it does sound like a, some kind of computer system or network, like if your computer was like frozen I suppose <clears throat> if it was like froze or if it was stuck you would turn the power off and turn it back on and reboot it and maybe that's what happens when we plug ourselves into the the mushroom motherboard and we get a download for, for their kind of system and it updates ours and I suppose it'll be the same way AI so it is for me it's quite funny quite strange how when you look at it like through that kind of lens, like what I'm talking about, they do all seem to be similar and they are like they all seem to be connected. And like I say, I don't know if anybody else has ever thought about anything like that before. I've I've heard all different things and that. I've not really heard anybody connect like them like the like the the basically the three kingdoms together and then the fourth kingdom I reckon will be AI. Cause that'll be like its own life force kind of thing so like you'll you'll have like plants and uh, the plant kingdom the animal kingdom the mushroom kingdom and then the the computer kingdom like the ai kingdom and that'll be like the four main life forces on earth or the four declared ones 
and it's pr it's pretty mad how we're all pretty similar. Like we all have, like we all have our own motherboards. We all have our own nervous system. It's all like electric pulses that that run through it that that create different outcomes and stuff. So like it is quite strange, eh? When you think about it like that, it is. We're all pretty similar, and it's just like. Like, we're, we're basically, they say it's just like we're built out of different material kind of thing. Like, one's fungus, one's like, eh, what do you call it, like plant matter, and we're like biological kind of thing. And then artificial intelligence will be like silicon based. Eh, so it is, Ken, I, I don't know, Ken, let me know if, what you think about that, if you think I'm onto something or. Just a bit like way off it kind of thing, but for me it's definitely like even I don't know again. Even like when you hear just like the because you always hear like <clears throat> like well even like the stone ape theory. I don't know if anybody's heard of that like the stone ape theory. So it was basically like we were apes, then we were picking mushrooms and eating them. <clears throat> and then because like it was giving us like psychedelic experiences that was expanding our brain capacity and then that's what, what made us like modern day humans and you maybe think that sounds crazy but if you think we're basically going to do the same way AI so like instead of like eating computers or whatever we'll plug ourselves into the computers and it's meant to go and it's going to be able to expand our minds and our knowledge and like evolve us basically so even that again it's almost like i'm going through i'm just going through this in my own mind and now so it's like like the the mushroom kingdom was here long before any of us and then if we've merged with that by having psychedelic experiences and evolving and now we're doing the same like, but we're creating our own, and it's like AI and computer and digital, and then we're going to merge with that and then evolve again. So it's <clears throat> it's almost like a a, a process of evolution, if you think, and uh, maybe that's why we're hardwired to to build stuff like computers and AI. I'm just I'm just actually thinking about that the other now. It is. It's quite a. It's like a deep theory and quite a. I don't know, okay, it's, it's, it's quite a, a, like a spiritual one as well and, and quite, it's obviously it goes way, way back because like I say, the fungus and the mushroom kingdom, I'm pretty sure they're like millions of years old kind of thing. I'm sure they're older than like the plant kingdom and then, because the, even the plant kingdom and the mushroom kingdom are connected because the like mushrooms grow on trees and plants and stuff and it, it like uh, decomposes it and stuff and helps like recycle it and then helps the trees grow like it kill, like that eats all the kind of dead wood kind of thing and then that helps the mushrooms grow and it helps the trees grow and it's almost again you could say if we're eating both and that's what helps us grow if we eat plants and mushrooms then that's what helps us renew and grow as well and then the AI thing, I don't know if it's a, if it's a natural progression or if it's a really bad, bad move, like a bad mistake to disconnect herself from the natural process and into an artificial one. But it's, even that, you don't know if it's artificial if, or if we're all just one consciousness, if, if we're connected to like the mushrooms, the plants and the artificial intelligence through like a higher consciousness yeah so as it's, it's, it's like as, as as deep as the ocean i suppose that's theory like but I, I reckon pretty cool so i don't know what do you reckon do you reckon i, I want to something do you reckon that's possible it's it seems quite logical and and stuff to me when i, I set it out the way i have but uh, let me know what you think in the comments and if <clears throat> if you like the video, just remember give it like a like and a share. That that kind of helps us out as well and lets more people see it. Even obviously leave a comment if you've got your take on it or that. But that's that. 
for this one anyway, so I'll catch you in the next one.